Hello, my name is Amir Zarimbal. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Waterloo. Today I'm going to talk about my PhD thesis, which is Adaptive Traffic Signal Control Using Bluetooth Detections. I'm going to talk about the Bluetooth Blue Synthesizer, the simulation application that I have developed during my uh, thesis. So, in recent years, there have been a huge uh, changes in the traffic data collections. New technologies have been introduced to uh, traffic engineering and there are multiple sources of information that can be used in real-time and offline um, traffic and transportation infrastructure improvement. Traditionally, traffic engines were using loop detectors, probe vehicles and traffic surveillance to optimize traffic and uh, come up with better plans and strategy, better understanding of this network situation. So Bluetooth detectors are one of these technologies. There are other technologies like Wi-Fi detectors, automated camera, uh, crowd data collections, and traffic parks, and there are microwave sensors, and there are multiple types of sensors. In my thesis, I'm going to use Bluetooth technology. So when, the, when they are using Bluetooth technology, they will install detectors at different locations. And when the vehicles or people with Bluetooth enabled devices like cell phones, um, car kits, hands free, pass this location, we will record the uh, unique identification number of those devices, which is called MAC address and the timestamp. And from that information, we will have the travel time and estimate of the delay in the network. We are going to use this information in traffic optimization. Currently, people are using this information in travel time monitoring. So they install these detectors, they will monitor their network in real time, and they will apply some changes manually or just use it as an as a, a information source so they can use it in advanced travel information systems. And some of the agencies are using this information to evaluate the changes. So for example, they are adding a lane, changing signal timing, uh, they are um, adding some policies, tolling, whatever they are doing. And they will use this information to see that, okay, how much travel time is reduced or increased by these strategies. In recent years, some of my colleagues and some other researchers are using this information to, to predict uh, the travel time in real time for near future. And in my thesis, we are using this information to optimize traffic signals in real time. So in order to do this one, I, I wanted to have a better understanding of what's happening. So I developed my uh, Bluetooth detectors, and so I use these detectors to detect different devices and see how these detections are happening, and I will have better understanding of the system. I did multiple field tests, so I installed my detectors on the left. Image will see that I installed my lift, my detectors, and so I drove and I carried multiple devices and I develop an application, an Android application to record this information and some additional information and I'll send all this information to my server and collect this information. And the result was a simulation software, which I call Blue Synthesizer, that can simulate Bluetooth uh, detections. It's really important to have a simulation uh, uh, framework for any of these advanced systems because you want to see that how your system is working, what is the effect of your strategies, and what your system can do. So this, um, the Blue Synthesizer can work in two modes. So the first mode is offline application. So suppose that you have a simulation run, you run it for a period of time, and you will extract the result of those uh, simulation and you will feed this information which is basically I use trajectories into the my uh, into the blue synthesizer and it will do sim Bluetooth simulation for uh, for that scenario I can run it for multiple scenarios multiple times and I can see what's the application what's the application of my technology in offline application there is another mode of the system which can um, read the traffic information from a simulation software like Vsim in real time, capture those information, generate Bluetooth detection in real time, and apply the changes in real time. So for example, suppose that I have an intersection, uh, so I um, 
I will have some vehicles passing, I will simulate the Bluetooth detection real times, and then I will extract delay and travel time, and at the same time, I will optimize the traffic signals. So, in this project, I use Wisim as the basic uh, travel, I mean, um, traffic simulation software. Because simulation of the traffic is not very easy. There are many softwares that have been developed and they are very calibrated to the real-time, real-world scenarios. So, I use Wisim as the, as the as the basic and the base part of my simulation, the, the Wisin will move my vehicles and it's responsible for the behavior of the car falling, takeovers, the reaction to the signal controllers, acceleration, deceleration, whatever is happening in the network. And so I can use that one and then I will build my model on top of uh, Wisin. And then it will use those information. So here I will give you the, exp um, the example how this system works. This is Blue Synthesizer. And when the Blue Synthesizer runs, I can create a project or I can open an existing project. So I'm going to open my existing project. My application is consists of different uh, se sections. In the first section, I can change and my Bluetooth settings. So the range of my detectors, what is, uh, what, what are the different type of detectors that I have? So where are my Bluetooth detectors are located, and uh, some other information about them. In the next sessions, I use some tools to evaluate the system. So the offline simulation will uh, use, as I told you in previous systems, will get the results, the previously generated results, outputs of the uh, VSIM simulation as an input and will generate the Bluetooth detection in offline mode. In the multi-run tool, suppose that I have a network and I want to run it for offline application in multiple times with different volumes, different signal control um, strategies. So this tool will help me in doing that one. I have a vi separate video for this multi-run tool and I will uh, put the link in the description below so you can see that video as well. So I have a signal controller which is you know, used in the real-time application and a data conversion tools because this application is is capable of importing some detections from other from real world vendors like uh, Bluefax or other Bluetooth vendors and uh, there's an online simulation which I will explain in next system. So the first part is offline application offline simulation mode. So in the offline simulation mode I can browse for the export of the system so then we sim simulation can run the simulation and export the results in different formats like a csv file and mdb file or um, sql database so here i will go and i go for um, for the result of one of my previously run simulation i will say that okay synthesize the bluetooth for me and the application will go load the result of the simulation from the whistling and will simulate the the Bluetooth detections. Basically, I'm using the trajectories, the timestamp of the vehicles, the location, the speed and acceleration, and, and then I will use this information to simulate the Bluetooth. I can open the output file. As you can see, I will have the detection table. This is similar to uh, a real-world uh, sensor, and so the travel times and some other information here. So based on this tool, I can run and do multiple type of simulation in offline modes. The next part of the application is the online simulation. In the online simulation, which I call it Blue Optimizer, I won't ask for the output of the simulation. I will ask that where is the VSIM project. So I will get the VSIM project, I will open VSIM myself, and run and uh, ask Wisim to open this file. Then I will set some configuration of the simulation, like simulation period, simulation resolution, and uh, some uh, settings there. And I will start to simulate the Bluetooth. In order to simulate the Bluetooth and optimize the, uh, the uh, 
travel and travel time. I need more information from the user because this sim does not have the capability in simulation of the Bluetooth detectors. So I will ask the user to go to the settings, define the intersection. So this is the first intersection. What's the signal controller associated with that intersection in we see uh, what are the links which is associated with this one and what is the movement so in Bluetooth will have multiple movement in different intersections what are I will call lane groups which is consist of different Bluetooth movements the signal groups what are the signal groups in we seem simulation software and what are my phases so basically I'm doing a signal optimization and the user needs to come and uh, and um, get, tell me what are the phases that he wants what are the minimum green maximum green and some other information what is the minimum green max maximum green what is the order of the phases that they want and what are the lane groups included in that phase so basically they need to identify the phases for me and at the end I have auto generate tool so that the user can select that intersection some information about the Bluetooth detectors, what are the idea of the Bluetooth detectors, what's the distance between these information, what are the phase configuration, and it can generate this information automatically. So when the user did all these settings, so these settings are, in, are stored in the project, so I can run the simulation. So I will press a start, my application will run the WSIM, it will take control of the WSIM. So the WSIM here only moves the vehicles and help me to do the simulation. My application is the controller and simulation of the system. So now the WSIM is running under my control. So as you can see, even I have a control on each vehicles. So as you can see, I have some black vehicles and blue vehicles. The blue vehicles are Bluetooth enabled vehicles so I do some sampling and there is a percentage of the vehicles are equipped with Bluetooth devices. At the real time I'm simulating the Bluetooth and I'm modifying the traffic signals. This signal uh, is uh, dynamic and it's being changed in real time by my application and Wisim does not control this signal at all. So this is the basic application and general information about my simulation framework. I can, if you need any more information, any more detail, I'm happy to help you in this matter. Thank you very much for listening to my um, introduction. Have a good one.